Emmy and I are in Middleborough, Massachusetts, at the historic Oliver House, searching for an entity that's affecting investigators. All right. Well, let's go get set up. Let's investigate elsewhere and let that marinate for a bit. Okay. The energy and intention we put into Zombie Boy's traits needs time to take hold. And we still don't know if we're dealing with one suspect or two. And something in here just answered to the name Zombie Boy. Trying to make contact with Zombie Boy. Here. OK, can you use my friend Amy? Can you talk to her? Can you tell us what your real name is? Do you like to be called Zombie Boy? Why are you called that? There's no goal here. There's no goal. Do you like the men that come and try to talk to you? Are you the one who is intimidating the others that are like you in this house? Yours truly. OK, why are you doing that? Were you brought here? Did someone call you here? Not too far. They paid me. Someone paid you? You. People like us? Did they offer you something? Use your brain. Did they offer you something in return to stay here? David. David did. Where's David now? A photograph. There's a picture of David? How can we help you? We're trying to make sure this place is safe. And Christy strongly believes that something, somebody came here and you seem to be it. But who are you? Can I take a picture of you? If I take a picture of you, will you show up? In the mirror, one, two, three. God. What? That's I... what I know. OK. How can we help you? You told us everything that you're going to tell us. Anything else you want to say? Come out here for a second. OK. And we'll talk about it. So I didn't see anything in the mirror, but I felt super focused on what I was hearing. So that went surprisingly well. Really? Yes, actually really surprisingly OK. Well. This zombie boy came through the, uh, the entire time. Really? The entire time. I said, we're trying to reach out to the person zombie boy. Mm -hmm. And you were like, here, right off the bat, I got the sense that somebody offered them something to be here, right? Like, pay, you said paid them, and David, the name David came up. I said, where's David now? A photograph. I was like, is there a photo of David? Is it downstairs? Whatever this entity is in this space, that is the entity that's causing the problems, and they fessed up to it immediately. Like, not shy. Not shy. I think probably someone in here investigating said something like, if you show yourself, we'll give you this. That's what we'll I We'll do this. Like going into a space and making a promise because you want activity to happen mm -hmm. and then not keeping mm -hmm. that promise. Like it was really clear answers. So I don't know who these people are. That was wild though, that was wild. And I was like, come to close to the mirror, I'm gonna take a picture of you. He said, God, that's what I know. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. You, you said there's no goal here. And then there's something about David in a photograph. David or a photograph. Are there any photographs up in this house? What about the picture that they're taking? Maybe. Is that his name, David? I, I don't just, know. I, when I look at those photos, I don't see a ghost photo. And I, I, yeah. can't, I can't 
in good conscience say those are ghost photos because they look like every other photo that we've been able to explain away over True. 20 years of doing this. Like, I, there's a cause for those. I'm not saying that those photos aren't instigating, actually, Yeah, right? Yes, the photos are, inst are they, do you think people taking photographs I and doing think, things? I think people are creating this guy. They're seeing this this thing is going around that suddenly there's these photos of this zombie boy. And if you want to see a zombie boy in a photo, it ain't hard to create a face out of, you know, grainy zoomed in photos. And so now suddenly everybody thinks there's this new zombie boy in here. They're creating a new spirit. It's like here. Actually, no goal. They don't have a goal here. That thing doesn't have a purpose. There's two scenarios. They created it because right. they got these grainy photos that made them think there was something here, and they all started concentrating on it and created, which is, in essence, an aggregor. Right. Or two, someone did do something at one point. They, they offered something up to bring in spirits mm -hmm. from outside. I wouldn't I mind doing a quick run through of the house and looking for photos real quick. I know that yeah, sounds just weird, David, but right? yeah, I just want to look and see if there's some photo somewhere, maybe downstairs, something uh, we missed. Uh, I'll just do a quick run through. Okay. This house is haunted, okay? There's no question. And when we came in, Christy was very specific about what she needed from us and what she couldn't figure out. And now that is where it becomes a problem for us because we have to wade through all those entities. We still have a lot to dig through. Like, we don't know a lot of them. We don't know who David is. There's also this moment of like, well, maybe this entity was created. So, Mr. Barry. Yeah, what up? I went me? through the whole house looking for photos. There's no photos. So then on a whim, I just like called Christy really quick. And I was like, hey, sorry to wake you. Um, is there a David associated with the house? Yeah. And she said, yeah. David Sprout. He's a descendant of the Sprout family who lived in this house for quite a while. And, David... and he came here with his family, toured the house, and then investigated with them. What year? 2018. So what did David do? What did David promise? That just seems like a very strange uh, set of circumstances to me. Okay. We need way more information before we can make sense of what we found out tonight. Christy might be the key to figuring out the origin of this menacing entity.